Thank you, Madam President. I understand the seriousness of the situation in Algeria. The protests, thankfully, so far have been peaceful uh, protests with young people taking to the streets uh, because they believe in something different to what the Algerian government at present is offering. And one of the key uh, comments that, that we see time and time again from people in Algeria is that they desperately want freedom of speech, that they want to be able to express themselves in ways that they've not been able to do of late. But the situation is incredibly serious. We've got the army chief calling for uh, Bouteflika to be declared unfit to govern. Uh, the one point that I want to make specifically today that's perhaps not been raised yet in this debate is that freedom of speech must also imply freedom of religion. Freedom of religion is guaranteed under Article 36 of the Algerian Constitution, which states that freedom of religion and creed is inviolable. And I want to just mention the persecution of religious minorities in Algeria, and specifically uh, Christians, because I've met uh, Algerian pastors on two occasions who've come to the European Parliament to express their concerns about how they are being persecuted at present. Algeria has moved from number 42 to number 22 on the world watch list of most persecuting countries of Christians in just one year. We've seen churches having been closed, and particularly the EPA, the Église Protestante d'Algérie. Uh, we've seen the government using various administrative means to close down uh, churches, and, to, and we've seen uh, those who have preached on social media put in prison. We've seen those who import religious materials put in prison. We've seen those who convert to Christianity being persecuted. So all I'd ask, really, is that in all of these discussions, in all of these debates, please, can we remember that Christians and other religious minorities are being persecuted in Algeria as these matters are being discussed in the coming days.